Hello everyone! Today I am going to tell you about such a metal loot as germanium, which helps to immediately transfer information over thousands of kilometers, creating the modern internet and our future. In the periodic table of chemical elements, germanium is located above tin, in a so-called diagonal region of metalloids, that is, elements which have both properties of metals and properties of non-metals. This element was discovered by German chemist Clemens Winkler, who discovered germanium when studying such a mineral as agrirodite, and he called it after his homeland, Germany. Nowadays, this metalloid is extracted from sulfide ores as a byproduct of zinc production. And, as it usually is the case, the Chinese manufacturers control most of the market, producing 80% of all germanium and its compounds. One of the intermediate components in the production of this element is germanium tetrachloride, which is a colorless liquid. If you open such an ampule with germanium tetrachloride, this chemical will immediately start reacting with moisture from the air, creating fume from hydrochloric acid and germanium dioxide. Nowadays, this chemical is used in the production of germanium of semiconductive quality and also in the production of optical fiber. After reduction, pure germanium looks like antimony or silicon. However, in contrast to other metalloids, germanium is more pale. Its chemical properties are not extraordinary and are very similar to those of silicon. Just as silicon, germanium is a semiconductor, which means it conducts electric current only under certain conditions. There is one experiment which illustrates that. I have put together a simplest circuit, where the light is connected to the cathode through a crystal made of fine germanium. If we apply current, nothing will happen. The light bulb isn't glowing because of the high resistance of germanium present in the circuit. However, if we heat up this crystal, the resistance of germanium will be decreasing as the temperature will be increasing, which is why current in the circuit will be getting stronger and the light will be glowing brighter. This happens because unlike metals, which are good conductors of electricity. Semiconductors have what's known as an energy gap, which prevents electrons from moving in the material. The kinetic energy of the electrons increases, which increases the number of electrons capable of overcoming the potential barrier. This property of germanium has been used since the 1950s in making germanium transistors which boosted the development of semiconductor technologies and electronics. However, as time was passing, the price of these elements kept growing, which is why new technologies were developed to obtain fine silicon, which since the 1970s began to crowd out germanium of the semiconductor market because of its lower price and wider availability. These days, Germanium and silicon alloy based semiconductors are being manufactured more and more, for instance for making solar cells. Besides today, germanium transistors can also be found in guitar effects units. Nevertheless, upon heating up in the air, germanium crystals gradually start oxidizing, releasing light fume consisting of its oxide and also covering in a thin oxide film. Germanium oxide is a white material, and there seems to be nothing remarkable about it. However, this compound plays a key role in the production of germanium for semiconductors and in the production of high-quality optics with a low dispersion rate. Also, this element has another peculiarity, which is being absolutely transparent in infrared light, which is why it is used in laser devices, because germanium can reflect visible light, but let red light pass through. Besides reacting with oxygen, germanium also reacts well with alkali. Germanium dissolves quite well in liquid sodium hydroxide, creating such a compound as sodium germanate which can be used to extract bismuth germinate, which is frequently used in radiation detectors as scintillators. 
and it is also used in Hadron Collider particle detectors. However, the most interesting application of germanium compounds must be its use in modern communication technology, namely worldwide transmission of signals. The thing is, more than half of all germanium produced in the world is used for making optical fiber, while total germanium tetrachloride is used in the production of optical fiber threads. It deposits on the walls of the glass, being heated, and when mixed with the red hot glass and other mixtures, forms a thin core through which beams of infrared light can pass with minimum distortion being reflected back of the glass walls based on the principle of tunnel lighting. Adding germanium atoms to such glass decreases light dispersion and increases the refractive index in glass, which significantly improves transmission of signals compared to regular glass. Nowadays, modern optical fiber costs way less than copper wires which contributes to the development of high-speed data transmission. Just look how many underwater internet cables are laid all over the world. And all of that is possible thanks to such an element as germanium. To sum up, we can say that today germanium is a very important element, which makes it possible for us to immediately exchange data and properties of this element have made it possible to create a world wide web. For the provided germanium for the experiments, I'll thank the company onyxmed.com. I'll put a link to their site in the video description.